Hello guys, myself and get any solutions and the problem on Lilco. Invert binary tree. So given the root of the binary tree, invert the tree and return its root. So what do you mean by inverting? Inverting means if the node is on the left side, you have to invert that to and put it on the right side. If node is on the right side, then put it on the left side. So if you could say 4, 4 is a root. If you check the left node and right node, 2 and 7 was it becomes 7 and 2. Next again go down. The entire subtree went to left. This entire subtree went to right. And I mean the position is exchanged. So you see 7, 6 and 9 exchange to 9 and 6. Again 1 comma 3 exchange to 3 comma 1. So how does we how do we invert the binary tree? So first what we do is we start with the root. So this is the root. Okay. Now first swap the entire left subtree and entire right subtree. So first swap these two trees. So swapping these two, how do we do? So we have the function, okay? And some parameters are there. That function is nothing but the same function. And I'll write it. So inside what we need to do? First check if root is it equal to equal to null. Is it equal to null? No. If it is equal to null, just return null. So here root is not equal to null. So what we need to do? Root dot left and root dot right. We have to swap. The entire subtree. So create a temporary node, tree node, star temp. In C, we do the referencing. Java just tree node temp is fine. That will be we will initialize root dot right. Okay. So root dot right is stored in tree dot tree uh, temp uh, a node called temp. Next now was in root dot right equal to root dot left. So in temporary, this is true. Now root dot right will be equal to root dot left. So that will be nothing but again 4. Yeah, root dot right will be equal to root dot left means this entire left subtree will be assigned to right now. And this is temp is containing this subtree, which is I marked in the red circle. Now at last assign root dot left equal to temp so this subtree is attached to here so what will be that so if i attach that will be 7 6 9 so now you could see this subtree and this subtree are inverted 7 6 9 have moved to left and 2 1 3 is moved to right so subtree is inverted next again check so first root is pointing here, another root is pointing. First this root will be checked. Is it equal to null? No. Now we have to call recursively the same function for root dot left and root dot right. First to check whether root is equal to null. Now tree node temp you swap the left and right subtree. So once swapping you get this. Now again call root dot left for this subtree call the invert function and then for this subtree call the invert function when you come for this subtree so in this subtree here the pointer will be pointing root check whether it's root equal to null no then swap the left and right subtree of this subtree that is nothing but 6 and 9 so 6 is the left subtree 9 is the right subtree so swap these two that will be nothing but 4 7 9 and then 6 fine so this subtree is done again here it will call for now root dot left so that will be here so here it all are pointing to null so that will just return null so this subtree is entirely null now we will move to this subtree right so here right again check the root is pointing here is it null no now swap the left and right subtree of this subtree so that is nothing but 1 and 3 okay so you when you swap this that will be nothing but 3 and 1 so here you have two this is three then one okay so now you could see the entire trace of inverted so here it is null null 
So that is just written now. So you could see entire tree is invert. 4, 2 and 7 were swapped. Then 1 and 3 are swapped. Again 6 and 9 are swapped. All the positions are swapped. So this is the logic. We will program this. First check if root equal to equal to null pointer. Then just return the null pointer. So this is in C++ null pointer we have to use. Otherwise in caps you can use null. So next what? You have to swap and left swap. Or right and left swap. So we will create a temporary node. Temp equal to root dot left. So next root dot left will be equal to root dot right. So now root dot right will be equal to temp. So here we are swapping the left and right subtrace. So after this now again recursively really call the left and right subtree. Inversion for the left and side trap. Uh, right subtree. So invert tree of root dot left. Similarly invert tree of root dot right. So after doing all this just return the root. That will be the inverted subtree. So we can run this now. Yeah, and for Java also, it's the same code. So instead of arrow mark, you have dot here and this is null. You can submit this also. Yeah, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep running. Thank you.